Welcome to Fishing with Gene. I'm often asked, what's the best way for me to set up my rods, reels, lines, lures for a great day of crappie fishing? And I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to take a look at two of the most successful rigs for crappie fishing. Uh, Shakespeare's done a terrific job putting together the Catch More Fish crappie kit. It comes with everything that you need, the rods that you need, the spinning reel, the strand line that's in there. And, and this all comes together as one kit. They have also created a separate crappie hunter rod line. It's, it's a series of three rods. The lengths of the rods are from 9 to 12 feet and everything that you need including strand line is included with that spinning setup. Let's take a look at two of these most successful uh, rigging setups. The first one is called a float rig and I'm going to show you two variations on the float rig. In this situation we've got a, we've got a float We've got the line from the rod goes through the top and the bottom of the, of the float. And then tied below is a marabou jig. You get two of them in the uh, Catch More Fish uh, kit and simply cast this out. You, you, as, as the day goes on, you, you may want to move the bobber up and down and see if they're six feet deep, eight feet deep, two feet deep, so you can adjust that. One of the things I love about fishing with a float is when a fish strikes down below, your bobber on the surface is going to tell you it's time to get ready to set the hook, so I love that. The second variation on the very same float rig is uh, using the Berkeley Gulp Nibbles, which, I, which are really great for catching crappie. So you've got your float. Down below the float, I've crimped on using my pliers from home, a split shot. And then down below, I've got, a go I've got my gold crappie hook. And what I've done is I've taken some of the Berkeley Gulp uh, crappie nibbles. I pinched out a, a couple of little balls out of there, and then I pinch it on just like that. I cast it out and I'm all set to get going. Now the second different rig that we're going to talk about is using a jig head. So we've got a small crappie sized ball head jig and what we do is we get ourselves a one and a half inch uh, grub and here's what we do. We take the, the jig head, it goes right down through the nose of the bait and I just slowly move it down like that and about halfway down I pull the hook through the bait and then I push that grub all the way up nice and tight, just like that, against the ball head. And now I'm ready to go fishing. And that's what that will, that will look like. So in either situation, cast out your float rig, let it float around. If you're not getting bites, reel it back in, adjust the float so that your lure beneath it is higher or lower in the water column. With the jig head, you want to cast it out, swim it slowly through the water column. If you don't get a strike, on your next retrieve, cast it out, let it sink all the way to the bottom, lift it up, swim it in a little bit, twitch it a couple of times, and let it fall, and repeat that pattern. I think if you try these two rigs, you'll have a much more successful crop efficient season.